Gibson working on Handsome Jimmy. Rick Gibson with a cover. One. At the one count, Handsome Jimmy's able to break the cover, stop the count. Rick Gibson headlock. Now you hit him into the ropes. Knee to the midsection, off those ropes. We're getting very close to the eight minute mark in this first fall. Action and conversation all the way in this. Lots of conversation in the first two or three minutes, but it's been wild action for the last five or six. Oh, it really has, Dave. This has been a dandy. Lawler, right fist used against Rick Gibson. Lawler sliding that foot off the jawbone of Rick Gibson. And some Jimmy in there. Taking over where the King left off. Gibson slammed into the foot. Rick. No, he's over to the corner. Just missed the tag. Waller wandering in there. Robert Gibson started after him. Oh, Waller at Valiant. Slamming Rick Gibson into the turnbuckle. Nine minutes gone. Right fist by Lawler. Rick Gibson off the ropes. Drove Lawler to the mat. Unfortunately, Rick fell, and Lawler is between Rick and brother Robert over in the corner. Rick starting for the corner. Can't get there. Both of them go down. They banged heads coming off the rope there. Both wrestlers down on the mat. Nine minutes, 40 seconds into the action. Oh. Right hand by Lawler, but he hits the mat. Rick over near the corner gets the tag, and here's Robert Gibson. Robert with the cover. They one. have him. Nope. Just the one count. Oh. Waller slams Robert Gibson into the into the turnbuckles and across the ray. Whoa, he just fired him in there. Robert hit hard. You just don't make many mistakes against Lawler and get away with it, do you? Huh? Again, across the ring. Lawler shoved him on over the top rope. Referee's back was turned. Or there's oh. a possible disqualification. Yes, sir. Robert Gibson down on the floor. Jimmy Hart down there. Handsome Jimmy down there with a chair. Rick down on the floor trying to uh, help his brother out. Robert back in the ring. A long fall. Almost 11 minutes. Misses with a swing. Robert rolls to the corner. Here's Rick. And some Jimmy out of the ring. Lawler still in here against Rick Gibson. Rick with a shoulder butt. Drives Lawler to the mat. Jimmy Dagan trips him up. Jimmy, or Jimmy Hart, rather, tripped him up. Jimmy from the chair. There's a cover by Rick. Dagan into the ring now. Yank Rick Gibson off the cover. Referee says ring the bell. Disqualification. Uh, it's got to go against uh, Lawler Bagan. Disqualification. Yeah, Jimmy Hart is in the ring. It's going to be it for the first fall. First fall is going to go by disqualification. We're going to check our time and be back in a moment. Yeah, we got some final action coming up here on Channel 3's Championship Wrestling. We're going to get back to it in just a moment. A little bit earlier, we gave you the entire card and 
We talked to the team of Lawler, Valley, and the Hart concerning that six-man tag with no time, no disqualification. They were all delighted about the no disqualification, Jerry Jarrett. They don't seem to realize that you guys are pretty well pleased with it yourself. Yes, sir, Lance. It suits us just fine. I, I asked Buddy for the match, and he gave it to us. You know, Lawler and Valiant and Hart, they come prepared with chains and and uh, some lead or something in Lawler's elbow pad. They they get, they wrestle that way anyway. So uh, Ken and Bill and myself, we decided to come to the match prepared to, to fight them on their ground and on their terms. And, and I, want, I want to say to the fans this. I didn't know what I'd been missing the last three years. That may sound crazy for somebody that's taking the beating I took last week. But I'm glad to be in the ring, and I'm glad to be in there. And one thing I want to, I want to make a promise to Jerry Lawler. We're not only going to beat you, but we're going to embarrass you like that little heart. We're going to pull your pants down this week and spank you like the big baby you are. If I had the time, I'd ask you about his comment about breaking your fingers so you couldn't push the pencil. I'll talk to Ken right now. Lance, I've got two very fine men as my partner, and uh, I learned one thing in this profession a long time ago. You don't sell nobody short. But I've got where I dislike Jerry Lawler very much and, Jim, and Jimmy Valiant the same way, and they've got this little punk manager, too, that's interfering all the time. Well, just like Jerry Jarrett said, we're going to go in there for one thing, boys, and that's to win that match. We're not here to play no head games. We're going to go right in there and do our thing, and if we've got to knock one of your teeth down your throat or black one of your eye, let me tell you something, we're coming to do it. And Ken Lucas means that for a fact. Another guy that always means it, Bill Dundee. That's right, brother. Jimmy Hart, you and mine, Daddy. I don't care if you're handsome, Jimmy. You can hide behind Lawler. The ref knows no hiding this week, Daddy. You and mine, Jimmy Hart, because I don't like you. You know why I don't like you, son. You and mine, and that's a promise. You hear it right there. You'll see it. Tuesday night, Louisville Gardens. Don't you dare miss that one. Chin is going to stand in that fall in there, Davey, and we're not going to have time for another call. So that means the Gibsons. Gibsons win it. Right. Sir, come out with it. By golly, and I'll tell you what, that may be one of the continuing problems of Lawler and Valiant when they're working together. Is disqualification. Got to watch out for it. Hey, our time is up. We're delighted to be here with you, Dave. We'll see you next week with more championship wrestling. Until then, for Dave Brown, Lance Russell saying bye-bye, everybody. Announcers on this program are selected and paid by parties other than this station, namely the Jarrett Welch Wrestling Company.